again, everyone. I'm Jeff Hirsch, live at Traders Expo New York City. We're in Brooklyn this year, and I'm here with Anne Marie Band, and she's with thetradingbook.com. That is correct. And you got to tell me about the trading book. What do you guys do there? You got some technical strategies? We do. We have technical strategies. Um, I wrote a book for McGraw Hill Finance about a decade ago, and it was called The Trading Book. And so we put the site up after that, mm -hmm. actually. So we we look at the markets and we trade them intraday and on swing. And nothing too long term. Uh, no, not too long term. You know, several weeks is probably the longest that we run. So we run those little cycles, try to look at the ebb and flow of market and participate when we can and keep dry powder when we can. What are the technical indicators that you look at, that you rely on? I like on? momentum a lot. Uh -huh. um, I really like to look at the weekly closes and the monthly closes. I'm, a, I'm an old Barron's Lab page guy. Weekly closes are important. Absolutely they are. They and really matter. They do. And also weekly, it's like the old put call ratio and, and Barron's, yeah. which is, they put it back in now, but it's request by some of us, where you get like that sort of weekly yeah. moving average of the put call ratio, yeah. not just the daily one that's a little bit Right. Um, you're talking about one particular indicator. Here, I was reading. You have a, a, a talk about the one indicator. Yes. Do we get? Do we get a reveal on that? Well, that is simply um, the stochastic momentum index, but it's all relative to price, as you know. You know, we don't we don't get paid if we have a cross somewhere. We get paid if we buy low and sell high, or if we sell to open high. Is, is and that a buy reference low. to the MACD cross? Or, yeah, or other maybe. crosses. Any other crosses, yeah. But if you use it for a good buy low and a good sell high, then it's worthy, those crosses. Absolutely. I find the, success the, with MACD. The word, so do I. I use it, but the reliability, you know, a lot of traders look at a cross and they go, okay, I'm going to take that. It's to confirm another That's reason. That's exactly right. That's you exactly know, I, right. I know Jerry Pell from when I was a kid, so... And I'm friendly with Marvin, and we, we, we do talk about these things. But, uh, yeah, it's it's something you use to confirm. Yes, absolutely. Which I think is the case with a lot of technical indicators. I think, you know what? 100% right. That's actually one of the things I, I really sort of pressed forward. I said, listen, indicators help you confirm motion. They don't help you predict motion. Right. If you use them to predict, you're going to make more mistakes you, than often not. Do you use any fundamentals or purely technical? You know, I think in order to be a good, well-rounded analyst, you've got to look at certain fundamentals. It's just necessary. It's how you combine them with exactly. your other disciplines. Exactly. Exactly. So we're going to leave that there. We could talk about this forever, but I want to thank you for uh, sitting My down pleasure. with me. I want to thank everyone for joining us and listening in.